My message for Sunday, November 8th is a children's message. And children, please ask your parents and grandparents to explain the scripture from today's message, which is all about 10 women and their oil lamps. That sounds interesting. Well, you see, in the time of Jesus, now this isn't really an oil lamp, but if I block off the bottom part, it rather looks like an oil lamp, and the oil would be poured in, and there would be a wick right about here. And the oil looked something like this. It's, it was olive oil, most often. And so, when there was oil in the lamp, the wick could hold a flame. And one of the important things in the time of Jesus was to make sure there was always oil in your lamp. As a matter of fact, they used to carry little flasks of oil with them when they carried their lamps because there weren't any flashlights or cell phone cameras or street lights of any kind. The only light they had once it began to get dark was the light from an oil lamp. So it was used as a way to remind people to always be prepared. Now that sounds familiar, doesn't it? If you've ever been a Boy Scout or Girl Scout, that's the most important lesson, be prepared. And there are many ways that we're called to be prepared, aren't there? We need to prepare for hurricane season. We need to prepare our homework. We need to make sure that we have proper clothing, especially when the weather's 80 degrees one day and 60 degrees the next. We should always be prepared to be kind and generous. You never know when someone you care about might be in need. So you should always strive to be kind. Prepare to be a positive part of people's lives. But the parable of Jesus today teaches us also to be ready for the Lord, to open our hearts to the love of Jesus Christ and to share it with others. May the oil and the flame be as our kindness, our love, our mercy, and our service to others. May the flame remind the world of the Holy Spirit that surrounds us. May the oil remind them of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Keep your lamps trimmed and be prepared. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this valuable lesson that we should always be prepared. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace.